let's say we want to roll a six-sided die. And so let's write the sample space for that. So we have six possible outcomes. We can get any number between one and six. Now let's say that event A includes the outcomes, all natural numbers less than or equal to four. And event B has the outcomes three, four, and five. Given this information, what is the probability of event A and event B occurring? What do you think the answer is to this question? In order to find out, the first thing we need to do is write the sample space of events A and B. So this is the intersection of A and B. So the numbers that correspond to event A and B are three and four. Now the probability is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So we have two numbers where A and B will both be occurring out of six potential outcomes. So the probability is gonna be two over six, which we can reduce that. Two is two times one, six is three times two. And so this becomes a probability of one over three, which has a decimal that's 0.33 or 33%. That's the rounded answer. Now, what about the probability of event A or event B occurring? What's the answer to that question? Let's write the sample space of A or B. So this is gonna be the union of these two events. So basically it's gonna be all these numbers combined. Event A occurs anytime we get a one, two, three, or four. B occurs if we get a three, four, or five. So this will include everything except six. So there's five favorable outcomes that lead us to get an event A or B out of a total of six possible outcomes. So the probability is five over six, which as a decimal, that's approximately 0.83. The three is repeating. So that's about 83.3% chance of getting A or B. Now, what about the complement of A? What is the probability of getting a complementary event? Well, first, we need to write the sample space of the complement of A. So this includes everything that is not A. So out of our sample space of one to six, A is one to four. So the other numbers that are not in A, but still in our total sample space are the numbers five and six. So the probability of getting the complement of A is gonna be two, we have two favorable outcomes out of a total of six, which is gonna be one over three. Now, what about the probability of getting event A or of event A occurring? What would you say? Now, there's four favorable outcomes that lead to event A out of six. So four over six reduces to two over three. Now, there's something that you want to take notice of. Notice that the probability of event A occurring plus the probability of the complement of event A occurring adds up to one. P of A is two over three and P of the complement of A is one over three. That is three over three, which is one. So this tells us that if we wish to calculate the probability of a complementary event, it's one minus the probability of that event occurring. Make sure you write this equation down because it's gonna be useful in the future. Let's work on this problem. If the probability of selecting a red marble in a bag full of marbles 
is 35%, what is the probability of selecting a marble that is not red? So the probability of getting a red marble, we're told is 35%, which is 0.35. So what is the probability of getting a marble that is not red, or the complementary of R? Based on the formula that we wrote before, it's going to be 1 minus the probability of getting a red marble. So it's 1 minus 0.35 which is 0.65. So there's a 65% chance of getting a marble that is not red.